Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to test the affiliate plugin with the eStore plugin using a live PayPal account. As a prerequisite for this tutorial, you will need to have a PayPal merchant account set up. If you haven't set up a PayPal merchant account before, you can go to paypal.com and select the business link. From there, click sign up and just follow the prompts to set up your account. I'm going to assume you already have set up your PayPal account in this tutorial. I'll also assume that you have both the WP eStore plugin and the WP Affiliate plugin installed. The first step is to set up the eStore plugin to use your live PayPal account. This can be done by first logging into the WordPress admin console, as I'll do now. So now I've logged into the WordPress admin console. You'll see a WP eStore link on the left there. Click on that link. Select settings. Click on the payment gateway settings. And then here you can type in your PayPal merchant or business account. So once you've entered your PayPal merchant account email address into the WP eStore settings, just make sure you remember to scroll down to the bottom of the payment gateway settings and click update to save that option. So now I'm going to explain the environment I've created for testing. The main page is Tom's T-shirts. This is an online store that sells t-shirts. As you can see here, I've created one product which is for sale, a groovy pink t-shirt. If you're not sure how to create a product in the eStore plugin, there is actually a separate tutorial on this, so I won't go into this detail here. Now the shop owner, Tom, wants to generate more traffic to his website. So he's starting an affiliate program. If another website sends a person to Tom's t-shirts website and that visitor goes on to purchase a product, Tom will reward the website that directed the traffic with a 25% commission from that sale. Now Tom has a friend named Bob. Bob has a very popular blog and agrees to become an affiliate for Tom's t-shirt shop. This is Bob's blog as you can see. Tom has created an affiliate account for Bob and given him a unique affiliate link. Bob has placed a link on this page so if anyone visiting Bob's blog clicks on this link and makes a purchase from Tom's t-shirts he will get 25% commission from the sale. There is actually a separate tutorial on setting up an affiliate user and setting the default landing page for the affiliate link. So I'm going to assume you know how to do this and I'm not going to go into that detail here. So let's test the affiliate link by clicking here to check Tom's groovy pink t-shirt. As you can see we are directed to Tom's t-shirt shop and the groovy pink t-shirt product is displayed. I've set this page as the default landing page for the affiliate link in the WP Affiliate settings. So let's say this user falls in love with this groovy pink t-shirt and decides that they have to purchase one. So they click on the Add to Cart button, which displays the shopping cart. And then they click Check Out with PayPal. And this will redirect them to the PayPal login page. So then they'll log in with their own personal PayPal account to buy the product, which is what I'll do now. Now remember, I'm the user purchasing a product. So 
So I visited Tom's T-shirts website after viewing Bob's blog and clicking the affiliate link. I've come to Tom's T-shirts website, purchased the product, and I'm paying it through paying for it rather through PayPal. So I'll just click pay now to complete the purchase. And the purchase is complete. Now that the purchase is complete, let's go to Tom's T-shirts website to see if it recorded a sale. First let's go to the WP eStore settings and then go to stats. As you can see there is one sale for today's date. Now let's check the sales commission data in the WP Affiliate settings. I've already clicked on WP Affiliate, so if we now go to Sales Commission Data, we can see here that there has been one sale from Bob, and he was awarded 25 cents, which is 25% of the price of $1, which is the sale amount. Okay, let's say we are Bob now, the affiliate. We want to check if we got any commission. So I'm here at the affiliate login page for Tom's T-shirts. And let's log in as Bob now. As you can see, there has been one sale from Bob's blog and he was awarded 25 cents which is 25% of the sale price of $1. So it's worked. A user reading Bob's blog has clicked on the affiliate link to Tom's t-shirts. The user then made a purchase of $1 and as a result Bob has earned 25 cents in commission. So let's do a quick summary of this tutorial. So first I showed you how to set up your merchant PayPal account in the WE Store settings to accept payments for products that are purchased. Then I explained the scenario that I set up. So there's a fellow named Tom who wants to generate more traffic for his t-shirts website. So he decides to create an affiliate program. His friend Bob has a popular blog and has agreed to become an affiliate. So Tom had set up Bob as an affiliate and Bob had the associated affiliate link to Tom's website added to his blog. So what we did was we clicked the affiliate link on Bob's blog and got directed to Tom's t-shirts website. We then made a purchase of $1 and verified that the sale and commission data was recorded on the eStore and affiliate plugins for Tom's website. We also verified that Bob could see that he received commission when he logged into the affiliate login page. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.